Right, let's go for a walk down the garden. I want to show you what I've been doing. Let's go slowly. Hang by, look at this. Variegated laurel. I took a cutting off it. Actually, I pinched it from somebody's hedge. I'm a terrible person. Isn't that nice? Look, little hanging baskets starting to come. Let's have to go slow. Sorry, I bet you're seasick when I do some filming. It's coming. That beautiful red Calibraco, I think it's called. We overwintered that. Or should I say, I overwintered it. I've taken all the beet out of that bit there. I've popped some broccoli back in. The beetroot now is all pickled. Some's in the pack lunches. Starting to harvest the onions. They're falling over. The ones with the necks that are falling over, I'm harvesting. We've just had one with a stir fry. It was absolutely gorgeous. Yum, yum. Keep coming. Come with it. Look, 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 look. I made some more space. Ho, ho. I've just popped some little wee seeds, uh, seeds, Swede seedlings in there. Just let them come on a bit. They can go into the border at, at some point. Hang fire. Oh, the strawberries are gorgeous. We're just getting lovely amounts now. Just enough to enjoy. Go this way. I was thinking that actually my kohlrabi were brilliant. Kohlrabi, kohlrabi were brilliant. Until I saw Manda moves. Manda, yours are enormous. Can I say that? Yours are enormous. I just did. I'm obviously talking about the kohlrabi. Mine are coming though. Hang on, look. Let me see. It's starting to bulb out. That's a celeriac seedy thing from last year. Look. Self seeder. It's not a self seeder. It's one I left. I'm talking gibberish. Take no notice. <gasps> look at the peas. Aren't they lovely? I keep picking them, popping them in salads. Look at these. These are the overwintered. Um, what do we call them? Peppers. I'm not going to bother this show because it's hardly worth it, really. Let's go this way. Oh, look at the little, little dahlias. Pretty, pretty. These um, courgettes are gorgeous. I keep picking them. I've just done a load in the stir fry. They were absolutely lovely. Let's go this way. Look. If I, let me go back that way a bit. I made some more space. Big tub. Local authority recycling tub. So there's one kale in there and I've popped some beetroot seeds. Let's have a look. That butternut squash over there is coming. I popped that rosemary there. You probably can't see it's rosemary. It is. Take my word for it. Raspberries are starting to come. Probably should throw a net over them. Haven't done it yet. Will do. Look there. I put that little, the small coal frame off the top of the log store. That's there. Come with me. Come and look. All the blossom on my orange tree. Look at that. It's beautiful. It smells divine. That's the Florence fennel. I've let it go to seed. I'm going to harvest that at some point. The bees love this thing. I mean, it's not particularly pretty, but oh my goodness, the bees love it. Look at that little fruit orchard coming. It's coming. Let's come back this way a bit. some sweet corn in. It's coming. Well, everything's coming, isn't it? It's the time of year. There's not much point putting it in if it's not going to come. Oh, dig well, Steve. Look at these. Ha <laughs> ha. There's your potato challenge. Sitting under the hedge there, look. Taking up no space. Let's go back this way. I want to show you the plum tomatoes. Do you remember the other week? A fortnight ago? I planted it out, didn't harden it off, stuck it outside. Let me show you how big they are because they're not a bad size then. Look at them, coming nicely. Across the back there, let me just see if I can make it a bit bigger for you. Oh, sorry. There you go, butternut squash is starting to come. I've got two flowers on with little squash behind of them. Look at that gorgeous, gorgeous penstemon. So pretty. Lupins are finished. I'm going to cut them all back. More fruit trees. Let's go this way. 
onions. I've got beetroot, um, beetroot, carrots and radish there. Harvested some onions. Let me just show you these. These aren't a bad size. Look at these. Beautiful. So that's the other perennial kale that Steve Seaside Steve gave me. I've got chard coming, a volunteer potatoes coming, but I'll leave it there. There's kale on that bit there, and there's some spinach coming. Come back this way again. I think we might end up here. Oh, come and look at these antirrhinums, they're gorgeous. Aren't they pretty? And that aquilegia has flowered for weeks and weeks and weeks. I've got a gorgeous hot lips over there. Hostas obviously everywhere, they're beautiful. The flaming lily beetles really are decimating these poor lilies though. I don't think the flowers are going to be up to much. We'll see, we'll see. I'm just going to show you that jasmine that took the cutting off. Look at them, aren't they good? I've got two of them there. Beautiful ferns, they are pretty. I was never a lover of ferns, they were Tony's thing, but you know what? I do like them. So let's do a little round the garden and we'll stop there. It's coming really nicely.